guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of my monthly makeup hauls. At the end-ish of every month, I share with you guys all the makeup I picked up this month and I just talk through it all rather than doing like individual hauls every time I get something new because then we would just never stop doing hauls because I keep buying makeup. But um, I have done this for the last couple of months. I'm planning on doing it for the next th few months. And without further ado, let's just get straight into it. My main channel, my social media, and any of these products that I can link will be linked in the description. And without further ado, I will get straight into it. So last month I mentioned that I would probably be buying less this month. That did not happen. That did not happen because I have a lot of products in front of me and this could have been, I think this might be my biggest month in terms of makeup purchases. Um, I purchased a lot, but I'm not gonna be buying anything for the rest of the month. Um, it is the 23rd when I'm filming this, I believe, and it's probably going up in a couple of days. Normally I do it around the 25th-ish. Um, hoping not to pick up anything else this month because I just made a massive purchase. Um, but I will then do another one of these at the end of October. Um, hopefully trying to pick up less in October because I am preparing for Black Friday where I will be picking up a few. One of my big purchases here was something I did have on my wish list for Black Friday but it went on sale now and I didn't see it kind of coming at a lower price plus there was like issues with me thinking it might be discontinued so I will talk about that when we come to it. So that is kind of why there is a bigger purchase here and that is one less that I will have for Black Friday. But without further ado, I will just get into it and shut up and start talking about the actual makeup. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I did these in like different orders, but all these products are kind of mixed up together. So I'm just going to grab bits that kind of make sense. So I've got quite a few Beauty Bay bits here. First of all, I'm gonna start off with some of their pressed pigments. I really like their pressed pigments. So I've got two here. I've technically got three because I ordered this one. This is Reverie. Uh, this is the gorgeous gold shade and I took it on hol holiday with me and unfortunately it did shatter. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all broken up inside. So this was my initial one and then I did order a replacement one. So I've technically got two of these, but obviously this one, I'm gonna keep it because you, it can still work as like a loose shadow, but I wanted one because it's one of my favorite shades. I actually really, really enjoy using it. It's a really stunning gold. Um, so I wanted to get a second one. So that is one that I've technically got two of now, but um, they are the same one like I wouldn't have got another one if it had broken But that is I basically got two of the same one there and then I've got another one because Beauty Bay had a couple of sales um, I picked that one up full price. I believe it's only five pounds anyway, but they had a 40% um, off almost all of the Beauty Bay stuff So I picked up another few things picked up this one afterwards because I've already tested out Reverie and I really enjoyed it This is the shade Vision. I haven't actually used it on the eyes yet because I only um, got it recently because I just got back from holiday But it's this gorgeous kind of dark darker dustier pink color and I think it's going to be really gorgeous on the eyes that is just what it swatches like really lightly um but it's just a really gorgeous pink reflective shimmery color ignore this swatch here but yeah it's just a really really stunning shimmery shade and I think it is so pretty so super excited to play with that one on the eyes this is the Utopia collection. These are limited edition, but they are absolutely like amazing. They're really, really good quality. So I really, really would recommend them. They're only five pounds each. There's four shades. You can get all four of them in a set for 15 pounds and they come in this really cute packaging. I just wanted to save this to show you guys. It's a really adorable little packaging. So I thought that was really, really cute. And um, I'm really happy to have uh, two of these now. They're really, really great quality and I love them. I'll potentially pick up the one, I don't know what the shade is. It's the other pinker one. There's Air, which which is like a bluish something duochrome and I probably won't pick that one up because I won't use it too much but potentially the other one I will pick up if that goes on sale again and then I also got a few more Beauty Bay products so I'll talk about the ones I initially got I initially picked up um when I picked up the Sunset Horizons palette which we'll talk about in a second um I picked up these two products because I didn't have a hall pass at that point, which is, if you don't know, on Beauty Bay, you can get a hall pass, which means you get free next day delivery for a year and you just pay $9.95, but they had it on sale, so I paid $4.95, 4 45 or something. Really cheap to get free next day delivery, which means you also don't have a minimum for next day delivery. So before I got that, I did pick up these two along with one other thing to um, get the free delivery for the Sunset Horizons palette. So these are two of the Beauty Bay powder products. These are really cheap. I think they retail for around five or six pounds normally and they go on sale all the time. Beauty Bay puts their stuff on sale all the time. So first I will talk about the blusher. We, oh, 
nearly dropped it. Um, well, it did drop it. Um, we have, this is the blush. This is in the shade Bloom. I really like this one. It is like a really pretty kind of marvy pink, ever so slightly, not like heavily, um, but it's a really gorgeous kind of shimmery pink blush. It's quite pigmented. It's really nice. The packaging isn't like crazy expensive, but I quite like it. I think it's quite nice. Um, it's a very good blush. I definitely will be picking up some different shades. I think they've got some bright colors that I really like, so I think I will pick those up Black Friday because I'll be doing a big Beauty Bay order then because there's a few palettes I know I want to pick up. Um, then I also have this highlighter. This is in the shade Flash. I picked up the lightest one. I normally do that with highlighters. I have so many icy highlighters and then I realized that I don't actually like icy highlighters as much as I thought, um, but they work well for my skin tone. I'm very pale. I don't know if you can tell, but I picked up this one. This is the shade Flash. This is the lightest one they do because I'm always worried that they're going to be too dark because I am very pale. Um, so I picked this one up and it's a really, really gorgeous um, highlighter, really like shimmery, really pretty, like really gorgeous glow. I really enjoy it. So I wanted to pick up two that were slightly darker. So I saw that they had another sale. This was their like 20% off one. 40% uh, off one that I mentioned and I picked up two of the other shades so I got the shade beam and the shade glaze so beam is kind of a more slightly more champagne -y shade it just looks like that one um I will swatch this for you now I'll just swatch it next to flash so you can see those two together still very light but just a little bit more champagne -y. and then we also have the shade glaze which is here this is just a kind of more pinky toned one as well so I will just swatch this one next to the other two and that is the kind of pinky toned one there so they're really gorgeous really shimmery really pretty highlighters i haven't used glaze or beam on my cheeks yet but i know i will want to they are just stunning and i will just show you quickly as a little comparison so you can see what they look like in the pan but i think i definitely would recommend these obviously i've got three now um but these are the different shades so obviously you can see here we've got flash which is the lightest and then glaze which has got that pink flip and then the champagne goldy one beam so these are the three highlighters love them i think they're going to be gorgeous so i mean i was on a low buy at the start of the year i was on a low buy but now i think we're just buying anything that i want because makeup makes me happy and we'll deal with the consequences of that when we come to it so i got three new highlighters this month because i needed it obviously but still on track with the beauty based stuff i did as i mentioned get the sunset horizons palette i already did a video of this sorry if i'm spinning around i've got a new chair and it's just like really fun to spin so sorry if that's annoying you like if it is let me know i'll stop but it's kind of fun for me anyway i got the sunset horizons palette i did already do a video on this um i did a video of swatching all my beauty bear palettes someone mentioned in the comments of that to do a video with the sigma ones i will do that but just probably in a month or so but I spoke about that a lot in that video. I haven't used it very much because I went on holiday pretty soon afterwards and I haven't had a chance to kind of pull this out yet. I've got a lot of stuff to kind of try that I want to do. And then also balancing that out with my pan those eyeshadows. It's a lot, but uh, this is the palette here. Very gorgeous, really stunning. I've done a look with kind of like Mirage and the kind of yellowy tones, um, really pretty, but I'd love to do kind of a more red and more blue look. Um, really gorgeous palette. This was on sale for 12 pounds and um, I didn't want them to discount continue it and me miss out because I'm going to be buying every Beauty Bear palette that comes out because I love them and they have a tendency to just be like oh yeah that was limited edition and not mention that um but next um I also got this this I got um didn't actually want it but <laughs> sounds stupid um but i had to get, buy something to get the whole pass so i just found something cheap this was like one pound 80 it's just a regular lipstick this is from mua makeup academy and it is in the shade virtue so it just looks like this it's just a kind of light pinky nude color um it's definitely a matte and a reasonably kind of like taggy formula but i didn't care too much it was like a really cheap lipstick i've got another one from um mua makeup academy um i'm just gonna call it mua because i've got another product from them that i don't want to be talking all the time I'm, like the massive name um it's just a really gorgeous like light pinky color i think it's really pretty so um i'm happy to have that one in my collection it's not doing any harm it's a very pretty shade i'll definitely get some good use out of that um I also picked up with the Sunset Horizons palette, the NYX Glitter Primer. Oh my God, this has changed my life. This makes shimmer shades just apply so much more gorgeously. I'm using it on my eyes today with the gold shade and just like look at that sparkle. This is a game changer, seriously incredible love it to death um i will be repurchasing this as soon as i run out i don't think i will ever not have this in my collection again you basically just 
pat it onto your eyelids before you put on a shimmer shade and it just makes the shimmer pop so much it also makes it super long lasting i found that my eyeshadow will now look like this until the end of the day um i have noticed a couple of issues maybe like halfway through the day with a little bit of creasing but i don't care about that i just pat it out and then it's gone so this i love and it was super cheap as well i'm sorry i'm not talking about prices entirely for all of them i'm not a thousand percent sure this i think maybe was like eight pounds it's a lot for a product that you can't really like see necessarily like it's not like a blush or a highlight or an eyeshadow but it's so worthwhile and it makes my makeup so much better i adore it so i'll never be without that again then i did pick up this from elf they had a bit of a sale and um i saw i can't remember who recommended it um a youtuber i watched recommended it and um i was like i want to get into cream contouring so here we go this is the elf cream contour palette um it's nothing else than that i think it has pants that you can pop out because in the back they look like that but this i got for like three pounds sixty i think um they were having a sale so um i didn't i I might as well be worth it it was a really good deal so yeah it's just got three shades here my favorite at the moment is this one down here as you can see i've been using it a little bit i haven't used the deepest shade or the um kind of like highlighting type shade yet um but this is just what the palette looks like uh, it works well i'm using it today obviously i've got um other bronzer on top of it but this is just the one i'm using and i feel like it blends really nicely it applies well i apply it with a sponge at the moment because i don't have a specific brush i think would be good for it i probably need to get some more but this is a really gorgeous um palette really good just really handy super cheap so i am not complaining about this i'm very happy to have that now in my collection um speaking of collection i have two collection products actually um i got these for free because my boyfriend's dad works in like advertising slash marketing and they were doing a thing for collection and they basically just gave him a load of concealers to take home and my boyfriend was like you like makeup do you want them and i was like yes please so um i got the shades ivory and extra fair four so i got the shades ivory three and extra fair four i'm wearing the shade ivory under my eyes today i don't know if you can tell too well i think it's really pretty this is the first time i've tested it out i really enjoyed it it's a little bit thicker than kind of i would necessarily go for normally with a concealer but i'm normally pretty light anyway i'm used to like using um like things like the covergirl clean fresh which is like ridiculously light so this is probably actually quite normal um i really liked it i enjoy using it um obviously i haven't tested it out fully um i will let you know more opinions later on on my channel but um at the moment i'm really enjoying it the way it looked i feel like it blended out super easily and it looks really pretty so really really happy with these so far then i have this this is the tower 28 blush i already have the shade um magic hour and this time i decided to get the shade golden hour cult beauty were having 20 percent off i believe on their kind of complexion and face products and glow or something i'm not 100 sure but that included tower 28 so i paid 14 pound 40 for this and i was very very happy um i love this blush formula i think it's stunning um this is just a really gorgeous orangey shade i'm wearing it today but i am wearing other products oh i just stuck my finger on it kind of but yeah that is what it looks like as a swatch if you're interested because i just kind of knocked my finger on it but um yeah really gorgeous product i'm wearing it today but you can't really tell um super super pigmented um but stunning lasts like all day really really amazing i love it to death um i also picked up another blush product because because you try a watch called Cat Rebel. She recommended these and I saw it was £2.50. So when I was getting my replacement for my Beauty Bay Little Pot, I decided I'd just throw this on here too because I don't have any um, blushes like this. This is the MUA Blush Liquid Cream Blush in the shade Taupe Tango. Um, it's this really gorgeous kind of like more brownie shade. And I thought for £2.50, I might as well give it a go because I don't have any brown blushes and I really want to try it out. So I think it would be really, really pretty. So that is just what the shade looks like there and blending it out it just looks like a really pretty kind of like properly nude um warm blush color i think it just looks so nice so i think that's gonna look so nice on the skin blended out um i think it's gonna look really nice on the cheeks so i really really like this i think the color is gorgeous if i like the formula i'll be definitely picking up more because two pound fifty so cheap um i think they had other ones that were slightly more expensive maybe like three or three or four pounds but still super cheap and these are all cruelty free which is great um i'm pretty sure the beauty bear line is also cruelty free um i'm not sure about collection um and i know tower 28 is and yes yeah, so most of this i think nyx nyx is as well i'm pretty sure I can't remember though. But yeah, so most of this is cruelty free, which is obviously great. And then lastly, I've said my biggest purchase till last. This was the one that was gonna be a Black Friday purchase for me, but I saw this on sale on Cult Beauty. They were doing 20% off some of their palettes. So I 
I haven't seen this at a lower deal and I the only place I was thinking about getting it from was the initial website on Black Friday but then I would have to probably pay taxes duties and stuff like that and shipping because it's an American website and also feel unique I could make it one of my favorite brands someone mentioned then I get 10% off but I noticed that this palette wasn't on there anymore and um I'll just tell you what it is it's the Natasha Nona Metropolis palette um, I noticed that the gold I was kind of looking at and that seems to have been discontinued and I'm starting to notice that the Metropolis isn't available um, on a lot of websites. So like um, Feel Unique I don't think has it. Um, I don't think Look Fantastic has it anymore. And that's kind of what I saw happening with the gold before it was discontinued. So I'm just a little bit cautious about this. So I thought I might as well get it now. So I got it for, obviously it's initially £111, so not cheap, but it was 20% off. So I did get it for £88.80 which is a lot, but I thought it was a reasonably good deal. And I wanted to try one of the large Natasha Denona palettes for the experience, you know? Um, I don't think I ever would have regretted this just because I, I had always wanted to try it and I will always want to try it if I don't have it. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel that bad about paying that much. I know it's a lot of money, but like with a lot of things, I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend 50 pounds on a palette, but this one I was kind of like, like I can justify it. Um, So this is the palette. I did use it today on my eyes. It is what I'm using for this look here. I just went for a very simple neutral one because I wanted to uh, get this video filmed and test out this palette. It is smaller than I imagined. Um, Obviously it is like a reasonably big palette. Let me grab my other Natasha palette. So I have the Sunrise, which is one of her midi palettes. I actually got this for free because I had enough Look Fantastic credit to pay for it, which was incredible. Um, but in comparison size-wise, they aren't too dissimilar. I thought this one was going to be like that much bigger, um, but these are the size kind of comparisons. Obviously, one's got 28 shades, one has got um, 15, I believe. So um, it is obviously a slight difference in sizes, but yeah, they aren't too dissimilar. What I was hoping with this one that is that it would have the kind of um, holes in the back so you can push out the shades, but it doesn't, unfortunately. But still, really gorgeous palette. I will open it up for you. So this has got the 28 shades here and it is stunning. I love it. I use um, a very simple eye look today. I just used the shade here and this one up here to deepen out. And then I use this gorgeous one in the lid. And I did use my glitter primer and it just looks stunning. So I am not in regret at all. I adore this. I can't wait to use this more. I just think this is such a like classic. Like it's such a staple part of so many people's collections. Now I feel like a proper like makeup guru. I've got my Metropolis palette, like it's just stunning. And I knew I wanted to try one of her big palettes and this and the gold were the only ones that actually interested me. I don't really like purples. I don't really like green and deep tones. So wouldn't have suited me, um, but this one I love. And I've also already got the sunrise, so I don't really need the sunset, uh, but yeah. I thought this was stunning. It has the tones in the gold palette that I would have reached for. So like this shade and kind of these, oh, I just touched it, these kind of goldy green shades, but it's also got some like extra shades. This is 28 shades, which is a lot um, for a palette. It's one of my biggest palettes and oh, it's just so stunning. Like I love it. I love the luxury and I just love this palette. So I am over the moon with this. I'm really, really happy about this purchase. Um, I also picked up two free samples. I got the um, NARS Orgasm free sample. I don't support NARS because I try to avoid like obviously non cruelty free brands. Obviously I'm a bit of a mix, but I thought getting a sample is literally free. So I'm not supporting them with money. So I got this one. It's just a little NARS um, Orgasm sample and I got this which I wasn't expecting to like this is the glowish multi juice skin tint by Huda Beauty and I saw a lot of people didn't like this I'm actually wearing it today on my skin I think it's really pretty the shade I got is far too dark for me this is the shade um oh, what, what shade is it 07 tan light um I'm probably like 02 um and I don't know if you can see on the top yeah definitely way too dark for me it's like properly for someone that is tanned not or white like a sheet like me but i blended it out a lot and um, didn't use it much and it looks really pretty a lot of people said it made them kind of look silvery um i haven't noticed that i didn't actually find it incredibly glowy maybe it's because i didn't use a lot but i'm gonna keep testing this one out and it is something i would consider picking up which i wasn't expecting because i heard such bad reviews and i was like yeah not for me don't like that glowy skin um but i love this so i'm really really looking forward to testing this out a little bit more that was a very exciting find but yeah that 
is everything finally this is everything that i got um it was a lot this month i definitely spent a lot um but i don't mind makeup makes me happy i don't want to feel guilty for buying things i am going to be probably going on a no buy from black friday till maybe like march next year april time or whatever just to kind of like chill out and i feel like at the start of the year i'm starting a load of new panning projects anyway so like i'm not that focused on buying things but like my black friday this year is going to be a big hurrah and then i'm going to finally get some good use out of all my palettes like things like the um sunset horizons i only get to use a couple of times um before i'm like moving on to something else so i'm really really excited to hopefully just get some good use out of my palettes but i'm also super excited for black friday to buy a load of new makeup but yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy this video seeing all my new purchases i'm super excited and really happy with all of them if you like this don't forget to give it a like down below you can hit subscribe turn the bell for a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time that i post a new video if you want to follow me over on social media check out my main channel or check out any of these products it will all be in the description down below um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you want to watch another one of my videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from and a load linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye